it is Weather Word Wednesday, and today's word is radio. Meteorologist Jacob Morris tells us more. Above our heads, we have the ionosphere. It's a various layers of the atmosphere between 40 and 200 miles above Earth's surface. It's ionized by radiation from the sun. So we have various free electrons moving around there that can cause different properties and actually impact how AM radio is transmitted across the globe. So here is a scale of where these layers of the ionosphere are during the day, the D layer, E layer, and two portions of the F layer. Now with our AM radio transmitter sending its signals out, it actually gets absorbed by the D layer. So during the day, AM radio has to rely on the ground wave to transport its signal. The D layer absorbs those uh, radio waves as they're being sent up towards our atmosphere. Whereas at night, the ionosphere becomes thinner. This is because we just have that E layer and F layer, and even those shrink in uh, size. The ionosphere's existence is due to radiation from the sun striking the atmosphere. All three layers are more dense during the day, whereas at night, they decrease in density with that D layer essentially disappearing. So our AM radio waves can actually bounce off the especially E layer in that ionosphere and reflect back to Earth. And these AM radio waves can travel thousands of miles at night. And this is called skyway prop propagation, also referred to as the skip. So again, difference between day and night with those AM radio waves. With FM radio, the signals have a much shorter wavelength so they can't travel as far, so they're not significantly reflected by the ionosphere. So due to this skip, there would be massive interference if all AM stations operated the same at night as they do during the day. Therefore, stations with clearance, they uh, keep uh, transmitting at night with just that ground wave. But to avoid this, most AM stations either cease transmission or reduce power at night. So that's why you can sometimes pick up these AM radio stations from thousands of miles away at night and why some have to cease operations at night so that there's no uh, interference. Used to listen to Little Rock, Arkansas, Oklahoma City, and Chicago when I was growing mm -hmm. up because you'd get the skip and those radio stations would come in at night. Yep, the less uh, going on in the atmosphere yeah. and, you know, particles too, but you need sound waves to or matter in the space uh, to hear things at the same, or sound to travel through. So makes a lot sense. going through. Makes more it. sense yeah. now. It's a mm -hmm. very complicated one. Yeah. <laughs>